Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the profile tool of QGIS to create 3D cross-sectional profiles of your terrain data. So by the end of this tutorial, you will learn how to download terrain data for free within QGIS itself, and how to create cross-sectional profiles, and also how to export the raw data into another software like Microsoft Excel, so that you can use the data for any additional analysis that you may potentially want to do. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. So here you can see that I have opened up QGIS version 3.14, but you can use pretty much any version of QGIS, uh, preferably one of the recent ones. And we're going to have to download three additional packages or three additional plugins. So the first plugin is called uh, Quick Map Services. And why do we need this? Because I would like to use OpenStreetMaps as a base map to navigate into the area for which I would like to download my digital terrain data. And to install this plugin, all you have to do is just head over to plugins over here and click on manage and install plugins. So over here you can search for quick map services. And as you can see from the description, it's basically a plugin which allows you to easily add a base map onto your working interface. So I'm going to click over here to install this plugin. And it's just going to take a couple of seconds and we are ready to go. So we can close this window and now if you head over to web over here you will start seeing this quick map services with a drop down menu. From here you can select OSM which stands for OpenStreetMap and I'm going to select the standard OpenStreetMap. And after that you can simply zoom into your area of interest just like this. And let's say for the purposes of this tutorial, I would like to download the digital elevation data corresponding to this region of the UK. But with this plugin that I'm going to introduce to you guys, it's going to be extremely easy to download digital elevation data within QGIS itself. And the name of the plugin is SRTM Downloader. So if you head over to plugins and manage and install plugins again, you can search for SRTM downloader and in this case you can see that I have already installed SRTM downloader plugin. So what it does is it's basically a plugin to download SRTM DEM tiles directly from the Earth Data Web Portal of NASA. So I'm not going to install this but in your case you will see an installation button over here so you can go ahead and install this as well. And once you have done that you can go to plugins and you will see this SRTM downloader drop down menu over here and I can select SRTM downloader from here. And to download DEM data, all you have to do is just make sure that you have placed or you have zoomed in properly to your corresponding area of interest. And after that, I can click on this set canvas extend button. So if I click over here, what happens is it's extracting the corresponding coordinate information pertaining to the extents of this canvas that you can see over here. That means we are giving the indication to QGIS saying that we need the SRTM tiles covering my map canvas area. So that's what's going to happen. And if you happen to change the zoom level of this canvas, then you will probably have to click over here again, just so that it can grab the corresponding coordinates correctly. And after that, you can either select an output path directly from here, or you can just save everything to a temporary file and later on export upon inspecting. So that's what I'm going to do. And after that, all you have to do is simply just click over here on this download button and it'll start downloading. However, before the download process begins, if you're doing this for the very first time, you will have to create an account with this Earth Data Portal of NASA. So if you click over here, you will be taken to a page like this. So all you have to do is just create a profile for yourself. You'll just have to provide your basic information along with your email address. And in no time, you'll be able to create an account for yourself. And for my case, I have already created an account, so I'm not going to go through this process, but, but just keep in mind that if you have to proceed further and download the DEM data using this method, you will have to create an account for yourself. Or if you do have the digital elevation data already for your area of interest from another source, then you probably can just go ahead and skip this step altogether. So I'm just going to go ahead and click OK over here. And now you can see the downloading progress and and it's going to take a couple of seconds or at least a couple of minutes uh, for the downloading process to take place. And just like that, you can see that the downloading process is completed. And these are the two tiles. Well, actually, the tiles are not going to perfectly fit to your canvas area because usually the tile by itself is actually quite large. So what it will download is basically the entire tile. So later on, if you would like to 
cut some parts out from this tile you can actually do it by yourself all right now since that's out of the way now we'll move into the third part and that's actually obtaining the cross-sectional profile using this terrain data so for that we'll have to use another plugin called profile tool so i'm going to head over to plugins and select manage and install plugins and over here i'm going to search profile tool And you can see that what this tool does is this tool plots profile lines from raster layers or point vector layers with elevation fields. So I'm going to install this and we'll see how we can get this to work. Yeah, that was quick. And after that, I'm going to head over to plugins again. And over here, you will see this profile tool appearing with this kind of an icon. So I'm going to click over here on this terrain profile option and this is it guys so all you have to do is just make sure that you have selected the correct file over here so out of these two I'm going to deactivate one and maybe for the time being I'm just going to work on this file and I'm going to make sure that I have selected this file and after that I'm going to go over here and click on this add layer button and you can see that that layer got added uh, right over here and now you can just zoom into your area of interest and if you left click once you will be able to generate a line of sight like this and once you have drawn the line until your end point you can just double click to confirm it and you can see that it actually drew the profile the cross-sectional 3d profile just like this now what's cool is that you can see that when i move my mouse point across this x-axis at the same time, you'll be able to notice a small dot getting moved towards the same direction as well. So what that indicates is basically the spatial location which corresponds to a particular point on this graph. So for example, if I try to place my mouse point over here on this point, which to me looks like a mountain top, you can see that the Y value is 576. And on the map, you can see where that point is exactly supposed to be, which is indicated by that red color point. And there are no limitations basically to the extent that you can cover. For example, let's say if you wanted to get the profile starting from this point all the way up until this point, you can see that as you're tracing your mouse point from north to south, the elevation varies. So these tops uh, definitely appear to be mountain tops. And as you move downwards, you can see how the elevation actually varies. And in case if you'd like to zoom in on a specific part, you can use your scroll wheel to actually zoom in like this. And you can use the left mouse button to move the whole graph around. So it's not just a static graph, it's basically an interactive graph, which you can just move around like this. And if you would like to be precise and do some inspections like this, you can actually just hone in on a specific area. And as you're moving your mouse point around, you can see that it's basically snapping to the graph along the way so that you'll be able to accurately get the corresponding X and Y values. And if you head over to this table tab, you can copy out X and Y values from QJS itself. For example, if you select copy to clipboard, and if you open up a program like Microsoft Excel, you can simply go to paste and select paste. You can see that we managed to copy the X values and the elevation values correspondingly. For example, if I name these two columns as X values and Z values, I can quite easily go to insert and create a graph of my own just like this. So you can see that we managed to extract the corresponding X and Z values quite easily without much of an effort using QGIS. So I guess that was a quick demonstration to this profile tool of QGIS. I hope you found the tutorial interesting but if you do have any questions don't forget to add a comment down below and if you did like the tutorial show your support by hitting that like button. Thanks a lot for watching guys, I'll catch you again with another tutorial very soon.